Hi, I'm John Barnes, and you're watching Redmen TV. Hello, welcome to the Redmen TV. As we know, Liverpool have basically gone hamstring injury crazy. So I thought it'd be quite interesting that we've now got 11 players unavailable to Jurgen Klopp. That's technically an entire side's worth of players. What would that side look like? And, you know, long-term viewers of the show, people who watch Chris is starting 11 will know he's, he's pretty much done this already. But fuck it, I'm doing it myself. Um, so the ones we've got out, the, the key ones we've got already, Dejan Lovren's recently had himself to the list. Obviously, Hendo still persistent heel problems. Phil Coutinho, he went on the hamstring list. And Daniel Sturridge is just... Well, he's just Daniel Sturridge, isn't he? So what are we going to do around that? Now, there's obviously some key places where we've got lots of players injured. For example, as we well know, all the defenders. So uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to base this on the notion that Colo Torre might be all right. And even if he was in an injured list, he, he, wouldn't, make the, he wouldn't make the team anyway. So I've gone for a back three. Uh, Martin Scale, Dejan Lovren and Mamadou Sacco. Now, that means wing-backs. Now, we don't really have any wing-backs injured as such, but again, fuck it, it fits in with what I'm going for. The forgotten man, young Joe Gomez, can do that. Um, yeah, uh, And on the other side, he's coming back to it. He's technically actually fit, but until he makes a senior appearance, I'm having him on the injured list. Going for Flano, uh, right wing-back. In the midfield, moving on. The Scouts mouse himself, anchoring Jordan Rossiter. And then partnering Daniel Sturridge in attack. We could have David Carigi. But basically because I just want to keep him involved. And because I like to remember that we still have him as a player. For Danny Ings up front. That's only 10 players, I hear you cry. Goalkeeper, clearly an issue for the injury 11. Um, not kind of got the depth they were hoping for <laughs> for this team. Um, so, big question. Who's going to go in nets? Now, you could put... As a wild card shout, you can put Instagram's own Jose Enrique in there, because why not? He's not doing anything. Is he injured? Is he fit? Do you even care? Um, I'd I reckon he'd probably be a good, I reckon he'd be an amazing five side goalkeeper, potentially. Um, you know, we've still got we've still got Diva kicking about. He could go in goal. Danny Ings, I reckon he's got the the spirit and the and the just the general, I don't know desire to be a bit of a mad goalkeeper but no for the sake of it I'm going to give it to Adam Bogdan because let's face it he's not going to play for the first team between now and the rest of the season so essentially might as well be injured so there you go let me know your injured 11 basically for shits and giggles in the comments below would you do anything different would you mix things around is anyone you'd have in then you wouldn't have in there let me know give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out the rest of the content and obviously a lot of this feeds into a lot of the stuff we're going to be doing throughout January Liverpool dipping into the transfer market we've got a transfer weekly special show coming to you every week throughout the transfer window on the redmentv.com discussing what Liverpool need what they don't need plays that we've been linked with etc etc fantastic show it'll be up there on the website go and check it out completely free for the first month uh, and if you like it you can keep it if you don't you can fuck it right off anyway thanks for watching Marco grew did it under a minute. He's 19 years old. He made his debut at 17. He wears the number eight shirt for Belgrade. He's six foot two.